Listen, you just gotta give me more time. Ah! Don't make a fool out of me, man. Not all cartoon characters are cute and cuddly. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most violent cartoons. Pains me that I do not have the ability to bring Death Clock back to the public, and therefore, I give you this. <laughs> For this list, we're looking at animated TV programs that pack the most blood, gore, and anvils to the head. We're excluding anime, though, because that just wouldn't be fair. Before we begin, we should mention that due to the nature of this list, there will be some graphic content. It is real! <laughs> Number 10, Rick and Morty. Hey, what are you in for? Everything. This Adult Swim sci-fi cartoon focuses on an awkward teenage boy and his mad scientist alcoholic grandfather, who often takes him on dangerous adventures. <laughs> Relax, that's what windshields are for. Heavily inspired by Back to the Future, much of the plot is motivated by Rick and his apathy towards the safety of others. We could be infested with these things, so we gotta keep an eye out for any zany, wacky characters that pop up. Thus, many gruesome deaths occur, with the relatively innocent Morty even going on a killing spree of his own at one point. Man, that kid must need a lot of therapy. Nobody is safe in the madcap universe of Rick and Morty, not even Mr. Poopy Butthole. Oh my God. Number 9, Mr. Pickles. Here he comes, there you are. Another Adult Swim series, the pilot of this black comedy follows a young boy's demonic pet dog as he disembowels a teenager, scalps a stripper, murders a scout leader, and tears off a boy's face. And that's just the first episode. It was Mr. Pickles in a doctor's mask. He started cutting people up with a chainsaw. This is the newest show on our list, and each episode is only about 10 minutes long. In that short amount of time, however, Mr. Pickles has shed more than enough blood to merit a spot here. I've seen a lot of things, dog, but ain't nobody gonna believe me when I tell them about this. This dog is definitely not man's best friend. Well, except for Tommy, that is. Good boy, Mr. Pickles! <laughs> Number 8, Robot Chicken. What a great game! I win! Adult Swim certainly offers all of the cartoon violence one could possibly desire. This stop-motion sketch comedy isn't afraid to lampoon anything. I'm scared, Snuffy. Thank God you can't get it since you're not real. <laughs> Created by Seth Green and Matthew Senrich, each episode consists of several shorts, regularly featuring celebrity guests and, more often than not, putting them in violent situations. These dolls, clay figures, and action figures are shot, stabbed, blown up, or otherwise mutilated in just about any way you can imagine. How did he even have that much red clay? They like the violence! We need more violence! If there's one lesson to be learned from all this carnage, it's never to screw with bitch pudding. Eat shit. Number seven, Tom and Jerry franchise. The misadventures of these scoundrels almost always involve Tom Cat trying and usually failing to hunt down Jerry Mouse. Often, the feline will set up a complicated trap that backfires on him or at least ends up with getting him hit with a hammer. Few cartoon all-stars do slapstick violence better than Tom and Jerry, which is one of the reasons why they've been honored with several Academy Awards. They're a truly timeless duo, entertaining generation after generation with their ongoing feud. How considerate of the tornado to bring back the bed. Number six, The Ren and Stimpy Show. One of the original three Nicktoons, Ren and Stimpy, about a short-tempered dog and a dim-witted cat, drew significant controversy in the 90s for its risque, violent content. In fact, an episode was banned from airing on Nickelodeon because of a scene featuring Ren beating a man nearly to death. Harder. Many other scenes were removed from episodes, including a scene with a severed head and a face being graded. So, creator John Rick Falusi went all out years later with the Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon. I love doing good, Ren! Helping the misfortunate is a wonderful feeling! Of course, if that revamped series proved anything, it's that Ren and Stimpy probably needed that sensor. The show's over. See you next time. Number 5, Axe Cop. Axe Cop, come in! What? Based on the webcomic of the same name, this animated series sees Nick Offerman voicing the lead as Axe Cop, a police officer who, you guessed it, wields an axe. 
This premise would go to waste if Axe Cop didn't use his axe to waste what he refers to as bad guys. But fortunately, he does so with pleasure and without discretion. Soda is better than juice! Hey, Army Chihuahua, throw this head in the head trash. Created by a five-year-old. It's not surprising that the laws of logic do not apply to this badass hero, and the result is hilarious carnage. I was so mad, I killed Chicken Head with one grenade. <laughs> But hey, what else could you expect from a show called Axe Cop? Bye bye, redheaded woman. Don't you mean deadheaded woman? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Number four, Aeon Flux. You're screwing up my mission. Why did you come? This sci fi MTV series followed Aeon Flux, a secret agent from the fictional country of Monica, as she carried out various missions. <laughs> The show is strange in that little is revealed about Aeon or her lover slash enemy, Trevor, and she dies at the end of almost every short episode, usually in super violent fashion. Uh. Although, she is almost always able to kick a lot of ass before she meets her eventual fate. Oh, and as for that live action film adaptation, let's just put it this way nobody wants to see a PG 13 version of Aeon Flux. I had a family once. I had a life. Now all I have is a mission. Number three, Metalocalypse. <laughs> Our fourth and most violent entry from Adult Swim on this list, Metalocalypse follows death metal band Death Clock. We are now in the middle of a record-setting global economic depression. Their popularity is so grand they've attracted the attention of The Tribunal, a mysterious group that monitors their every move. William Murderface's charts indicate a deep-seated rage, which is split off and repressed at its core. Featuring plenty of satanic imagery, Death Clock's fans will do anything and go through anything for their favorite band, even if that means death. Oh, God, With characters like Nathan Explosion, William Murderface, and yet another character named Pickles, there's plenty of blood and gore to go around. Talk about putting the death back in death metal. You don't even know what crazy even looks like! Ah! Number two, South Park. Oh my god! They killed Kenny! You bastard! When a show's most quotable line has to do with a child's death, it must be pretty darn violent. Oh! Yeah. Besides Kenny getting killed countless times, there are gruesome happenings all around the town of South Park. Can I go now? Yeah, I'm on the cell phone. Could you get me out of here? Whether Chef is getting mauled to a bloody pulp, Butters is getting a ninja star to the eye, <laughs> or terrorists are bombing our imagination, it's hard to think of one episode where something horrifically violent doesn't occur. Well, he said there was gonna be a... that there was gonna be a... Allah! Oh, f no! Of course, in today's topsy-turvy world, nobody cares about violence as long as there are no wardrobe malfunctions. I told you it was a wardrobe malfunction. That's no way! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Speaker's boss. What? Speaker's boss. God damn it, I can't hear it. Damn, Petrina. Yeah, hit me. Oh my god. I, I am so sorry. Don't apologize, boy. Remember this moment. Number one, happy tree friends. <laughs> If you're wondering why these cute woodland creatures get to our top spot, you obviously haven't seen this show. This cartoon was born on the internet and follows a group of furry friends who live in a forest, and often find themselves in situations where they are, uh, well, take a look for yourself. Mondo Media CEO John Evershed said, I envision kids watching Happy Tree Friends 20 or 30 years from now the same way they watch Tom and Jerry now. Let's hope that's not the case because this series is clearly for the adult crowd. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most violent cartoon? 
<laughs> you are such a dirty cop. Don't break those yokes, ma'am. Oh my god, Lois, I hit you. I know. For more scandalous top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.